Hey, what's going on YouTube? <laughs> so in the last video of uh, how to replace the direct ignition cassette in the Saab 95 Aero, I ended up ordering the actual OEM stuff. So I got the, uh, what is it, PFR 6H10 spark plugs. Whew, a little pricey, but after the massive catastrophe that I went through, I'm not taking any chances. And I ordered uh, the NGK ignition cassette, which some people are tossed up uh, in regards to but here's all the images to show you that it is the real deal uh, SEM Amal Sweden TK 3.7 uh, version E manufacturing date I believe was the fifth week of 2018 so it is the real deal nothing to fear get yourself an NGK uh, ignition cassette and you'll be good to go see it's made by SEM so it's the same thing uh, anyway I'm just gonna video document me replacing this all over again except this time with the spark plugs that go with it all here we go all right well I apologize in advance it is a little windy out it's supposed to be raining soon enough so uh, let's see how that goes I always start with releasing the clip there we go all right that's out and t30 Torx Get these bad boys out of here. this one so let's put this aside <coughs> and get my spark plug socket <sighs> Boy. all right so that socket wasn't deep enough to get in there uh, so I had to switch out and get another extension to go on the ratchet. So now that I have the two extensions uh, mounted together, that gave me enough depth in order to actually get in there and start removing the spark plugs. Uh, it is a pretty deep cavity where the direct ignition cassette goes. Now, when you're removing the spark plugs or when you're inserting them, you want to make sure, you know, just take your time. It's not a job that you want to rush because if you strip any of the threads, that's going to be a much bigger headache than is actually necessary. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward job. It's not the greatest job in the world, but it's very straightforward. Uh, now you'll see here I'm using my hands to loosen the remainder of the spark plug threading uh, just so I'm not applying any unnecessary pressure. Uh, again, because I didn't want to strip the threads. That's my biggest fear doing these jobs is, it, oh God, if I strip a thread, it's over. So... No, and also take the opportunity to take a look at the spark plug. These ones were okay. Uh, they weren't uh, completely fouled or anything. Um, they weren't run too hot. They weren't too cold. Uh, the gap and everything was good. Um, there wasn't uh, massive residual amounts of fuel. There was no oil in them. But when you do remove the spark plugs, you want to actually take a minute just to take a look at the quality of uh, what you're pulling out because uh, that will be a telltale sign if there actually is a issue somewhere else along the line that you may want to take care of. 
And uh, yeah, from here, I mean, I just went on and removed uh, number two, number three, number four spark plugs. Um, and then, yeah, I could <laughs> I should have actually uh, done this a little differently just for the sake of the actual video. But uh, yeah, I had the boxes uh, pretty far, so I had to keep turning around and putting them away and all that fun stuff. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there isn't really too much to uh, removing the spark plugs themselves. You just take your time, keep turning and turning, loosen, 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 loosen until they come out. And uh, that's pretty much really all there is to it. I mean, you can use a regular socket, but I prefer the actual spark plug socket uh, directly just because it has that little rubber grip that fits around uh, the head of the spark plug and it's easier to pull out. The only problem is uh, if you end up with a lot of oil, um, then that little gasket rubber grip thing uh, can actually slip right out and you still won't be able to pull the spark plug out, uh, which is quite annoying, to be honest with you. It's happened to me on a previous vehicle that I had, and uh, ever since then, that rubber grip thing does not stay in that socket anymore. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. So here's the box that the uh, NGK ignition cassette came in and as you'll see here on this sticker right at the bottom there made in Sweden there we go and uh, once I open it up and here's the four spark plugs PFR 6H10 yep yeah, so she should be good to go after this uh, you know Got to keep the Soblenium Falcon on the road. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Now, one thing I noticed when uh, I went on NGK's website and I was looking at uh, these actual spark plugs when they punched in the name and everything, these only, <laughs> these were designed only for Sobs. They don't fit any other car. Like, they're not recommended for any other car whatsoever, which I was like, oh really okay that's why it costs so much money now i get it oh you sneaky little myata anyway uh yeah so just make sure when you're gonna get the oem it is these ones for the 95 arrow anyway uh the arc i believe these will work on any of the top 95s but the arc and uh linear uh they do use different spark plugs the, these ones, the PFR6H10s, are specific to the arrow. Uh, that's all I know, really. Anyway, I want to get this done so I can drive the Soblenium Falcon out on the road, so let's go!
Alright, here comes the reveal. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And you'll notice NGK and then the OEM warning thing. And here comes the truth. So there you go. This is the real deal. Oh, and got a piece of cardboard there. So I'm going to take care of that and then start installing. Oh, here goes nothing. Speed up the process. Yeah, it would have been speedier if I actually took the other screw out of my pocket. I know it's not the most exciting video, but you know, whenever I figured I'd shoot it, go through the whole entire thing, you know? It's supposed to be quick, but I'll admit it was a little long-winded. Just a little long-winded. crazy if they don't see the equipment I'm using to record the video. So, oh my god. Kobe's lost his mind. Dude's talking to himself, man. Alright, and we're golden. 